This video, what I want to say is don't blame the bike shop. My last video got a lot of interaction. Most people agreed with me, some people didn't, as in the price of bikes. Now, a lot of people justified the price because of the technology, with wireless gearing and all the rest of it. The way I see it is once, say Shimano or SRAM invent the wireless brains of the system, then they, they have it. It's probably once they've made it, it's fairly easy for them to replicate run it down the line so in other words SRAM started with RED and then it went down to FORCE now it's RIVAL now worked its way into APEX their fourth tier so it's the same brains it's the same battery the way the derailleurs and shifters work is the same so I don't I don't really buy that I think the price of bikes has just got out of hand now this video what I want to say is don't blame the bike shop okay because I can tell you for a fact from when I had my shop, let's say a bike sells for 10 grand, right? Now, it probably costs the shop, I'm gonna say maybe seven grand. Now, the truth is, the shop's not gonna sell that bike for 10 grand. They're probably gonna sell it for nine grand. Now, here in Australia, if a bike costs you seven, on top of that, you gotta pay 10% tax. You have to pay freight, pay a mechanic to build the bike, and you also have to give a free service somewhere after the purchase. So if you add all that up, the bike probably owes the shop about eight grand. You buy it for nine grand, all the shop's really made on it is a thousand bucks. Now, that's the truth from someone who had a bike shop for 10 years, that's just the way it works. So the way bike shops work is they really want you to buy some accessories. So some shoes and pedals and helmets and spare tubes and lights and all the rest of it because that stuff they can make better money on and it's just the way the industry works. A 20 grand bike in a bike shop, don't think they're buying it for 10, they're just not. Also, the wholesalers, I believe, aren't necessarily making a lot of money either so i now work for a wholesaler and i know what we buy product for and what i sell it to a bike shop for it's very low margins what that means is it has to come from the manufacturers so whether that be the main players track specialized giant or if it's the little niche brands pinarello colnago i believe the manufacturers are the ones who are making the money because they can make the bike or the frame and they can then sell it to the Australian distributor for whatever they want. So I think it comes back to the manufacturers. Now this is a really interesting topic because the word around at the moment is that manufacturers, Trek, Giant, I just heard Scott, are all in financial trouble. You know, maybe they're not making as much as I thought. The point of this video is don't blame the bike shop. Now what happened, of course, during COVID, everyone was in lockdown, people were bored. In Australia, government gave everyone a bit of money. People wanted to buy things, what can they do? Well, in Australia, you were allowed to go out and exercise, so a lot of people bought bikes. So that person, for example, might have had a gym membership, but gyms were shut, so what can they do to exercise? So they went out and bought a bike. Everyone did that, and as a result, bikes ran out. There were no bikes, they couldn't make them quick enough. So the bikes that were available, if anything else, they all went up a little bit in price. In fact, they went up a lot in price. And I think that's what started this ridiculous pricing on bikes. COVID's been finished now since 2022-ish, and bikes are still going up. Now the demand's not there. Supply is, all the Australian bicycle wholesalers are overstocked, yet they're still trying to get this top dollar for their bikes. What needs to happen is bike prices need to come down. So as I said, an old Tegra carbon bike with old Tegra DI2, I think that should be about a $5,000 bike. And I bet you if they were $5,000 bikes, they'd sell a lot more. But it's gotta come down from the manufacturer. And I can't see that really happening, certainly not overnight. Maybe prices will come down, I really hope so. My wife's bike has 11 speed old Tegra. The left hand STI lever just broke, it's five years old, fair enough. So what I want to do is upgrade it to SRAM Axis because then all our bikes will be SRAM Axis. And I'm just checking out the prices to get a group set. And even group sets are ridiculous. Now I'm just looking at Apex, which is their fourth tier group set. Just the price of that here in Australia for a complete group set, you're looking at about $2,000. Certainly better price than a new bike. It's still very expensive. Now, if I was getting Force or Red, maybe, you know, two, three grand, but Apex, the fourth tier group set, I don't know. So it's not just bikes, it's also all the componentry and all the rest of it. So 
What do you guys think? Give me some feedback. I just think that I've started something here by having the balls to say bikes are overpriced. A lot of people have praised me because I work in the industry to say good on you, mate. Get out there and, and say it the way it is. And I have. I doubt anything I do on this channel will change anything. Give me your feedback. What do you guys think? At some point, they need to come down, and I sincerely hope they do. Anyway, as always, guys, I hope you enjoy the content. If you want to subscribe, get into it. If you want to shout us a coffee, link below. And thanks for watching.